Hey everybody, welcome to my second example of derivatives of trig functions, E functions, and natural log functions. And before I get started with this example, I want you to take a look once again at this table on the left that I wrote for you. And on the left hand side of the table, I wrote the function f of x. And on the right hand side of the table, I wrote the corresponding derivative of that function. And you need to have these memorized in order to do these types of examples. So if you don't have these memorized first, um, you need to do that before you can uh, get started with these problems. So let's just dig right into this example. Uh, here we have the function f of x is equal to e to the 4x squared minus 3x. And if you look at number 4 in our table, if we have the function e to the x, uh, the derivative of that function is also e to the x. So correspondingly, um, and since we have the function f of x is e to the 4x squared minus 3x, uh, the derivative is also going to be e to the 4x squared minus 3x. And the only difference is, is that in order to finish this derivative, we need to multiply by the derivative of the exponent. Uh, since we have an exponent of 4x squared minus 3x, uh, we need to multiply by the derivative of that, which is just 8x minus 3. And I always like to write my x's and my constants before the e. So the derivative is just going to be 8x minus 3 all multiplied by e to the 4x squared minus 3x. Now we have completely taken the derivative of this e function. So here are some more videos with some more example problems related to the video you just watched. I really hope you're finding my tutorials helpful. So until my next video, I will see you later.